Night Attack is brought to you by all of our lovely patrons over at patreon.com slash night attack. Subscribe today and you'll get the pre-show and after show early. That's an RSS feed with them in RSS. So check that out. (laughs) Patreon.com slash night attack. Also, thank you to Doghouse Systems for powering this show. Uh, And we're doing it with their great computers. Get yourself a free SSD when you get a computer at Doghouse at doghousesystems.com slash V slash rogue. And use promo code rogue at checkout. Get yourself that free SSD. Here's what happened last time on night attack number 324. Thanks to our friend, I see you. I'm not really feeling it though, because those TV trays were too high class. It's another dazzling TV trays of the rich and famous. Look at your hat. <laughs> Can we please uh, pause for a second on Bryce's big hat face? Can we please uh, pause for a second on Bryce's big hat face? Look at Bryce. <laughs> I'm saying I get it. I get it. He's fat. Hey. Hey. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're so much meaner in the ring. <laughs> Hello, you beautiful bastards, you demon horns of the internet. It's Tuesday night, and that means it has got to be good time for Night Attack. Live in Austin, Texas, I'm Brian Rushwood. Join us always by my BFF and OAK. It's J.R.Y. Justin Robert Young. Oh, am I ever glad that we had Matt Donnelly on Happy Hour since then. <laughs> Otherwise, oh, I feel Oh, my God. Bad. All right. So, and I haven't listened. They apparently covered this on Ice Cream Social. If you have not been listening to the happy hours, number one, you're missing out. Number two, go back to last Friday's if you enjoyed last week's episode because Matt Donnelly comes on. There is the final confrontation between uh, Bonnie Brushwood and Matt Donnelly. Uh, Bonnie, how are you feeling one week later after uh, your scathing physical review of, of Matt Trace. Oh God, it's so, so awful. Like comedy is a liability anyways, but then like when it <laughs> shines a flashlight on your biggest flaws, like my loathing of big hats or something. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it was just like, there's been this, I've gotten a lot of Twitter action lately talking about the beef between me and Matt Donnelly. <laughs> Oh, people are, people are trying to, they're trying to stoke the beef. I know. I'm just being quiet because I am uncomfortable. (laughs) Well, look, if you want to hear, if you want to hear that confrontation, (laughs) go back to last Friday's, uh, uh, happy hour because we do go over it. Uh, Brian, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. I'm, 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 I'm sunburned and tired because I got on a roof and then hung an antenna that is bringing this, uh, this broadcast live, hopefully, uh, interruption free. Oh man. Did somebody go out and take a picture of my wonky ass antenna? God wait, damn it. Wait, mm. you know, it's just that if you want to create a sense of unease, you put things at a diagonal. Yes, and I'm very uneasy with. But it's with, aiming. With it's the, aiming at a tower. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's you, the you know point. The it's, point it's, isn't that it's aesthetically pleasing. The point is that it's getting the goddamn internet in. Which, by the way, we have run rock solid now for for a couple hours. Like I this think, is uh, this is exactly what we've all we've ever wanted. All right, Bryce, give us the number. How many drop frames have we had? The number of dropped frames is. Zero. Yeah! Oh! Yes. You know what? Yes. I take it back. That antenna should be looking kind of scancy pants. It's looking at the LTE tower saying like, you want to go, bro? You want to go? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's up? What's up? So how long were you I on the roof? I say we do it all day and all <laughs> night, whether or not we got a reason to do it for. Uh, okay, so I think I, you don't touch it. Really? Yeah. Just because like it works. Yeah. It's working. Well, and also, it is working. Think about this. This I'll has to, to happen look, again. Okay. This has to happen again. He has wow. to get on the roof again. I look like a dad. I look like every dad everyone's ever had seen on a roof. I, I Holy shit. Wait a minute. Was this Brad Pitt once upon a time in Hollywood? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I don't know. You kind of look.
looks you, like he kind of looks like the um, Mr. Robot in some of those dead. But, okay, uh, you know uh, you know he likes that. That's problematic if you watch the rest of that series. Uh, uh, anyway, moving yeah. right along. Or even the yeah. beginning uh, of it. Holy shit! Uh, yeah. No, not as problematic right. as later. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, oh, guys! Oh, yeah. Speaking, <laughs> I forgot about that. Speaking of that big old Brad Pitt shirtless <laughs> on a roof <laughs> in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. <laughs> We had a question in the pre-show that we decided to bring to the show itself, and that was, is the classic in living color recurring sketch men on film either progressive as showcasing openly gay characters in a lovable uh, uh, sense, or is it canceled because it is gay, gay face by two straight actors doing loud caricatures this is, of uh, 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 gay people. This is our new favorite segment. It's called How Did It Age? So far, Justin, Brian, Bonnie, answer, great. They've aged great. <laughs> <laughs> this sketch, though, next up on the chopping block, we go now to our judge of all things that have aged, <laughs> Bryce Castillo, number one. Who might be younger than this program. Uh, yes. Then, also, have yes. you ever heard of In Living Color? I know of it. I know it is it is an African-American focused sketch show. Mm. I've not yep. seen a frame of it. I've not seen any of it. I know of wow. it. Wow. So you, you've never seen Fire Marshal Bill, never seen Homie the Clown. I might have seen Homie the Clown. Homie the Clown just sounds like an early You never viral saw the Fly film. Girls? No. Mm. I never saw the Fly Does Girls. Does Homie play that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't... I know the phrase, but I don't. I wouldn't know it as a sketch. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, uh, so, Men on Film was part of it, but we're not gonna not show our ass a little bit because we are gonna make Bryce watch it <laughs> as a young person, uh, as a and, normal, and as we call it. it. Uh, we olds are going to make a normal look at what <laughs> young exactly. olds used exactly. to look up to in comedy. This is only because of the age difference. This has nothing to do with anything else at all whatsoever. Right. This, this has nothing to do age. with any of us or what <laughs> we're doing. Yes. I hope that translates the audio. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so, but, but we have to show our ass a little bit. Now, yeah, no, no, Brian I, and Bonnie. You're, you're right. You're right. Uh, 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 we should divulge. Uh, Justin is the, the blackest person in the entire four of us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> so that's registered. I am, I am definitely the only one who is bringing up men on film 30 years after it aired. So <laughs> yes. I guess my, 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 my commitment to black television is probably, I feel comfortable in it at this point. Uh, <laughs> but I, should we lock in our answers on whether or not Bryce thinks that it's woke or progressive? I, I did. I, I, you know what? I'm only going to stand or behind canceled. Uh, I'm only going to stand behind what I said when it was just brought up. We've not watched a single frame of this. So we haven't revisited it. Uh, I said that to the best of my memory, the entire joke of this sketch was they're gay and pretty much any time that's the joke. It doesn't age well. Uh, is what I assume, it, with the exception of 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 uh, uh, Jean Luc Picard, who did that amazing Saturday Night Live <laughs> sketch with the erotic cakes, where uh, uh, yeah, all he does is make cakes of women going to the bathroom, and then there's yeah. a gay couple that come in, they want a man going to the bathroom, and he's like, "The fuck are you doing?" And they're like, "No, no, no, we we we, we like men, not women." And he carefully, patiently exp explains, "Fine, for you, I will make a cake of a man and a woman." Going to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> that was as close as he could get to understanding it. That was a great so, sketch. All, all I will say is this, and it's because I, I have watched them uh, 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 in the intervening three decades. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, prime David Allen Greer, prime Damon Wayans, and the writing is is funny. Like uh, it, it, you you could make an argument that at that point in a world where pop culture like satirization was not as Bryce, you're taking notes on all this, right? You're, you're going to make there, sure it to was, say it was unique. Things. It was unique <laughs> in a lot of levels. So Wait. I will lock in and I will say progressive. I will show my ass right now. And I will say that it, it, it might read as progressive in 2020. Yeah, but what would men okay. on film say about your ass? Mm. <laughs> Harry, I bet. 
<laughs> Bonnie, you, you want to chime in on this? Do you, um, do you even remember this? Okay, I got to ask what years. Uh, uh, 89? It, this looks like September 23rd, 1990. A, 90. a scant three months after my birth. Okay, <laughs> I would never have had access to this. Because you didn't have Fox. We've talked about this. Yeah, I, I did not really have TV, guys. A lot of your art is really about uh, how you had to watch PBS and never <laughs> got Fox. <laughs> right. Like, so there is big chunks of my um, of my life that were, you know. Like Deprived I, of married with children? Yeah. Yeah, like I listened to comedy specials on records. That was yeah no that's fine I definitely did that I mean yeah. like I got I got you one better but that's on the there closest thing I that listened, I, came I listened to. to records that were re recorded on on tapes and then and then later the comedian turned out to be a rapist oh. <laughs> I bet you can't guess what comedian <laughs> I used to listen to if there we could have about sixty them. seconds between that comment and us <laughs> judging the gang portrayals of the nineties oh, yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cleanser new topic All right. <laughs> so hmm. okay so so yeah so bonnie bonnie and i are both kind of going into this fresh right all right so this is so wait hold on wait brian so so you say canceled i say progressive i'm gonna say i'm gonna say i i i, I will be shocked if it's good I, w I will be shocked if i think it's funny now uh and that's based entirely on i can't remember any joke outside of they're gay sure okay okay here we go this is men in Men on Films 2 from In Living Color. Cable Access, Channel 62 presents Men on Film. Edward, and I'm Aslan Mayweather. Pause, 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 Bryce. Uh, <laughs> just describe, just describe what we're looking at. I, I... Okay, so uh, we we have uh, uh, two uh, two African American gentlemen, uh, kind of on a public access set with the curtain and the ferns, and uh, very similar to what we have right over here. Very similar to our set, about ninety degrees over this way. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of them is wearing kind of this dress shirt but with the cleavage cut out and a uh, kind of ribbon bow and it looks like he's he's bald save for a bang uh, like, like like a tuft of hair with a jaunty derby that yeah, belongs there's like, to like, a, a, like, a, a, a yeah a, a, a tiny leprechaun's hat uh, uh, askance on his bald head with bangs coming out of the hat That's right and the the other african american gentleman is uh, kind of got more of a traditional looks like a uh, an interesting take on uh, maybe a vest and a, and a dress shirt, but with a kind of a black and white sort of check pattern. Uh, okay. Uh, the voices. Let's talk about the voices. Come on. I, I think you've heard all you need to hear about the voices. Where are you at on the voices? The voices are very tough to be taken. At this time. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? It's. Uh, it, it, they're, they're, they're tough to. They're, they're tough. tough. They're, they're tough, tough to handle. Tough. It's tough. Now, it's the, it's the late. It's mm. the early 90s. It's early 90s. We're still. Yeah. Figuring this out, I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna give this a try. A little, I'm gonna give it a little more try. And welcome to Men on Films, the show that looks at movies from a male point of view. <laughs> Tonight's show is sponsored by. Looking at the one host is looking at the other host's ass, and they're making a moment of it. <laughs> is that a nuts and honey? <laughs> how you how you feeling on 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 your call justin right about now I, listen you gotta you gotta get to the heart of it you gotta get look you can't just like pause every every five seconds we know what the bit is you gotta let them get the jokes out okay. you gotta i will get the heart on yeah i will say points for instead of doing the the turning s's into th's lisp doing the like extended sound yeah you know yeah uh, just talking like this a little bit, a little, a little, a little, a little too much on the uh, sound. Okay. Okay. Now, if they were trying to convey that they were Hispanic, how would that sound? I don't know how that they. Were that. <laughs> okay. <you> okay. <laughs> Nothing, honey. I bet you can't eat just one. I bet I could. <laughs> Tonight we'll be wrapping up the summer films. 
First up is the box office smash, Total Recall. Yes, this is the movie where muscle-bound Arnold Schwarzenegger goes and searches his past. Just a hint, Arnold, try looking in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have Betsy's uh, uh, wedding. Pa pause it real, like, like was, huh. was that a floating rumor of, 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 of some sexual past uh, he had or no 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 it's the joke is uh, entirely running, it, 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 it's, it's it's a running joke that as you'll see it, they they want to find the gay themes in, in every every movie Got that it. they okay, are okay, okay, reviewing all right, all right. Okay. provisionally on board for this keep going yeah hated it <laughs> then there's ghost you know patrick swayze was the real standout in this film you know i breathe life into his spirit any day <laughs> Even if I did have to go through Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Perish the thought. Yes, indeed. <laughs> now we come to Dick Tracy. You know, I love the title, but the movie just left me limp. <laughs> I know what you're saying. This is, this is what I don't get. Mm -hmm. All the characters fit their names. You know, Flat Top had a flat top. Prune face looked just like a little prune. But I never got the chance to see... <laughs> <laughs> That dick. I, yeah, 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 yeah. They never got to see Tracy's dick. I uh, provisionally, we're almost two minutes into this clip. Yeah, I think this is fine. I think if we compared it to, um, and and I'm about to talk, uh, I'm about to talk out of my ass because I don't know, uh, I'm I'm not as well versed about it, but uh, this seems very in line with like current drag culture or drag comedy. This uh, is my point. This is my point in terms of it being progressive. That it, it it's not, it was not about ha ha. I mean, like, yes, it was ha ha, they're gay, but it was because ha ha, they had a gay perspective. And right. that was fresh and different and funny and not ha ha, they're bad because they're gay. Like, they were always the ones, it was them doing jokes that you were laughing at. So you were laughing at, even in terms of the characters, them as comedians. But also, to Brian's point, the only thing you remember is just like th these fucking super loud, lispy, gay caricatures. And so that, to me, is like, that, 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 that that's where the dynamic is. It's like, I could totally see somebody being like, no, that's a stupid caricature and it's fucking insulting. Stop it. Or somebody being like, oh no, they were doing like, drag humor uh, uh on television before it was even fucking like close to to being able to do it like they can do now on like drag race and well stuff and, like and i think we're talking about the difference between laughing with and laughing at and um whether or not uh i i, I have no idea of uh, uh the behind the scenes personality of either of the two players in this case but i know that they're both presenting as straight men who are portraying gay stereotypes, which does that just make it laughing at? And would it suddenly make it okay if there was a third person or, or if one of them was, was known well, and was out as, it, as gay or. Well, and that's the thing in my mind is like, you know, gay, gay panic is a very easy uh, red flag on like, okay, so this is just like gay people are scary. Uh, um, that, that tends to be a very easy flag to, to, to notice in certain dated media, if suddenly another movie reviewer comes out and and he's horrified by the conversations that they're having about the good fellas, like then I would look at that side eyed. Yeah. But but you know when it comes to sketch and when it comes to performing, like and this this is this is for me. I understand that you kind of have to have some flexibility with with. The performers that you have and the 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 scripts that you have, I I don't know about the two actors, uh, or or their um I don't, I don't know yeah they're they're they're, 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 yeah. they're yeah. both straight as far as I know yeah. yeah um but that doesn't I I don't think that's blanket I think that that depends on the writing and the delivery and like it's it's campy and it's over the top especially for you know the early nineties but also like that's that is part of comedy exaggeration and yeah. Hype. So can, yeah. can, can, can I, can I throw a proposal out there? Uh, number one, um, the, uh, 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 oh, doggone it. I'm already losing it. Um, the, uh, uh, uh the big point I, I wanted to suggest, is, Oh, I, I think I'm coming around to your angle of progressive Justin, because before you can actually kiss while playing spin the bottle, everybody has to giggle 
at the absurdity of the very idea of kissing. And so yeah. before we can become comfortable with, with a gay perspective on movies, we all have to giggle on the, on, on the seeming absurdity in 1990 of, of taking seriously the gay perspective on movies. Would, would, would that be fair to put out there? A hundred percent. And Brian, uh, I agree with your point, which to my ears was just you saying very slowly, I'm right. I'm, I'm right. getting, I'm getting right, closer. Right, 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 right. I'm getting Hold shot. Men on films, progressive, write it in the stars and gossamer tears. I fucking win. Men on films, progressive. Woo. Um, let me, I, 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 along those lines, like, um, eh, no, that's too much oversharing. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, <laughs> oh, no, please. <laughs> I mean, uh, 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 take somebody who laughs a little bit too hard at uh, furries or whatever. Uh, that's sure. That's yeah. how it starts. And then sure. suddenly, you and know, you're, you're, you know, just uh, doing it as a joke. And then before you know, you, you know what I mean? I mean, it's yeah. like, I, I think that's this part is... of the natural progression. You know, this is, it uh, uh, looks like 13 years before uh, uh, Queer Eye, right? Where oh, there, yeah. there really starts to be more of that presence. And, 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 and Queer Eye, I would say, was the beginning of the like, oh, are we still joking about this? I'm sorry. You know, and, and, right. and I, I think I, I think the natural progression is it, uh, you have to start with the giggles to, to bring up the subject. And that doesn't make it okay, but it does. I, I, think, I think you're right, Justin. I think I'm on board for that. Yeah. Uh you know. All right, let's just watch two or three more reviews. <laughs> okay. okay. Also, yeah, they're going through these at a crazy clip. If this was like a Saturday Night Live thing or, uh, uh, or whatever, like they would have, I feel like they would have really stretched out each film just to. to oh, do yeah. It. No, yes, no, that's also the other thing that was really funny. Yeah, they like, also the, wouldn't the, have bothered to memorize any of their lines <laughs> and they'd clearly be staring at teleprompters off screen <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, that was the other thing about the the, the sketch from a, a a writing perspective is that like it was literally just them owning the crowd with like one liners. It was just like, all right, here's all the movies that came out over the last few months. Let's write these characters perspectives on it in one sentence. And it was always hilarious. It's hot in here. <laughs> Pretty woman. Hated it. <laughs> this one should have been called a fish called Julia. <laughs> Next, Eddie Murphy was back in another 48 hours. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sorry, this movie just got off on the wrong track. I feel that they should have spent more time where the real story is, mm -hmm. in the prisons. I like to see more about them old sweaty men all together in them tiny <laughs> little cells with no one to turn to but each other. That that might have been the only left turn I've seen so far. <laughs> well, that think, really didn't have. That was that was a hard left turn. And and I think uh, there is a worse version of that that leaves all the things that we have immediately picked up and subtextually uh, yeah. and brings it textual. Right? There's a lot yeah. about big buff men in prison that this joke could have said. And I think even the vagueness of it of just like, you know, the, I I. I it feels uh, it. It feels like there's some effort here. I guess that's that's kind of where I'm at. Is it feels well, like I, I think we don't need to go for the immediate most cheap joke um, if yeah. we know that that well, there's and, an audience and, that we're talking to. And that's the other thing is that to me, what was great about it was that it was the same as you know, uh, if there was a show about two horny heterosexual dudes that wanted to make everything like oh fucking like they should have never went to the uh the the hockey tournament it should have just been him banging his hot girlfriend the whole time yeah. like like that that is a right. kind of the, the, element <laughs> that, that that is a heterosexual element that to be honest like also it, it in 1990 i mean i'm seven years old at the, at the time that this airs like that's the first time i even remember the idea of like oh i don't want to see this in a movie i would rather see that in a movie like talked about in a critical perspective that like i just kind of thought movies just unspooled 
and then you could like them or not like them. But the idea of like, oh, no, it should be another thing. Like that was a constant joke for them because it was like, oh, no, it should have not been about the heterosexual love interest. It should have been about, you know, this other gay fan fiction that they're coming up with. Uh, uh, but but yeah, yeah, that was progressive. Telly Zarell has an interesting point in the chat uh, saying the whole skits low hanging fruit, though. But a hundred percent. But in an age where nobody's harvesting the lowest hanging fruit. Uh, I, I, I have to go back to Justin's assessment that it's progressive for literally anyone to to pick the lowest hanging fruit. And that's how it starts. That's where you begin. Right. Yeah. And I think, you know, this 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 was on Fox. Right. Yeah. Like, I think. Yeah. Part of it is uh, being like on like, I think if you do this sketch on HBO, the way that you write this sketch may not we might not be having the same conversation. I think the fact that. You have to still write it family friendly. Like even if it's winks and nods, it still has to be a certain amount of like let's we're we're talking to the whole family here. Exactly. I, I yeah. almost wonder now, how now much I that say, shaves uh, off some of the edge. We we had a discussion about this on uh same subject on Cord Killers when we were talking about uh one of the Larry Sanders episodes from what, 93, 94, and I felt like it was it was past uh, because the whole the whole joke is Hank has a new assistant and he's not sure he's comfortable because he's a gay uh, and and I felt like in, in knowing that this is what four or five years after this sketch came out um, uh, I feel a little bit more justified for for got the same distaste that that Telly Zarell is expressing is sort of was where I was at on Larry Sanders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's interesting. I I, I don't re I remember being okay with most of that sketch except i mean i don't love the f slur ever being used and that 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 plot line is kind of dependent on that yeah but what did you think what did you think of his use of the singular with a gay <laughs> that was <laughs> pretty fine. great that one's okay <laughs> that's okay <laughs> um yeah i i i this this feels all right i don't know in 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 broad strokes this this feels fine you know um yeah very very it is very pointed and i think Part of it is like there's there's probably a lot of influence that doing a sketch like this has had where I think it would be very it would be a completely different conversation. We were having this conversation in 1990 where we are before any of the ripples of of this sketch, the show or this any of this the other theme would have also I mean, been yeah, the, the time <laughs> that I believe uh, 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 Scott Thompson on Kids in the Hall was essentially doing. Uh, this same character, but it was uh, on Kids in the Hall. Uh, uh, Scott Thompson, is that right? Am, am I getting that right? Scott Thompson, yeah, no, of course, this queen, the the, the queen of Scotland. Uh, uh, his, I mean, Kids in the Hall was a little bit after this. I think it was. Oh no, no, no! I thought it was before. Um, uh, but, but but Kids in the Hall wasn't in the eighties, was it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I was know it? it was on. It was on um, Kids in the Hall, nineteen eighty four. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah, I, I I think the stuff that we saw from the early '90s on Comedy Central were late '80s uh, uh, Canadian television. Uh, I, I, yeah, but I, I may be wrong on that. But but um, uh, I, I I guess I guess I wonder like I uh, Scott Thompson could do it on on cable television because it was authentically a, a, a gay man representing a stereotype of a gay man. Uh, I don't think you could have gotten away. You couldn't have gotten approval for that on broadcast television for a sketch comedy show, unless it was straight men or people who presented as straight representing it. Like, like, like I think hmm. they're the only ones who could do this joke in that environment at that time. Yeah, yes. Kids in the Hall was also transgressive because everybody dressed up in dresses oh, yeah. and they're constantly women and kissed each other and, and all that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was there was a baseline there that was not on. Uh, in living color but uh yeah no i mean uh there we go i mean i guess i would have always said scott thompson's easy that's that's low-hanging fruit in trying to cherry pick uh, uh whether or not it is going to be uh, progressive or not like the words, danger Justin. the danger is whether or not men on film is progressive <laughs> also scott thompson is hank's host in uh in larry sanders that's probably why you mentioned it that is. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I didn't doing know. a lot of things over here. Uh, yeah. Lots going on. Uh. There we go. All right, one more, one more review, one more review okay. from uh, Men on Film, and then we'll do the Patreon plug. Who dropped this? I get it. And there was the spelled out joke. <laughs> Good. 
big, big laughs too. I mean, look, dude, prison rape in the early '90s. That was a fucking. That was a closer. I mean, again, you have to. You have to. Uh, 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 certainly, in that time slot, with that big of a mic to say those words, pretty transgressive. Full stop. Would this have been live? Or no, live no, to tape. no, no, this I, was all recorded. Yeah. Well, just, no, 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 but 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 perform for a live audience. I perform mean, for a live like, audience. I, yeah, yeah, they're yeah, not goosing yeah. that that uh, think, that response. I think you guys all need to take a close look at that blouse. Is that like a fake chest? Oh man, are we are we gonna wrath a con this? Uh, no, that's no. That's Damon Wayne's Damon Wayne's yeah, was jacked got, uh, back in the day. Yeah, yeah. all yeah. right. It it just looks the col- like, the coloring doesn't look right. It definitely looks more matte than than right. Kind of the balder part of his head. But I think there are explanations somewhere. Oh. I, you think you think it's a dicky? You think it's a fake chest? No. Yeah, I, I think so. No, I think I think uh, I think a bit a bit of powder on there. I feel like the shirt doesn't move right. Like man, like it doesn't. You know. I I I never believed in real awesome chests until I found out that Ricardo Montalban. That's definitely his chest in Wrath of Khan, and I've never looked back. I I believe in real chests. That's pretty <laughs> remarkable chest. It is freakish. Yeah. Right. I mean, but what? Like, how? How Send me a screen long grab after this, this is like major pain, and he plays a fucking like marine instructor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more review. TV trays, the part two. Then we come to Spike Lee's Mo Better Blues. I'm sorry I didn't care for it. It just didn't put no toot in my horn. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I like this one. I mean, little Spike Lee. Oh, no, it looks like a real chess time. now. He really stretched out in a dual role as both the lead character's manager and love interest. Oh, he was okay as the manager, but ooh, he just thrilled me to death in those gripping love scenes with big old handsome Dizel Washington. <laughs> what courage it must have taken for little Spike Lee to take off them glasses and let that little hair get knotty and say, hey. <laughs> This is me. Here I am. See me, love me. Mo, put the car in park. The love interest was played by Spike Lee's little sister. Yeah. Well, touch me in the morning and then just walk away. <laughs> All right. Well, there we go. I'm not entirely Let sure what the joke was. Very particular. <laughs> a very particular Spike Lee reference. Uh, to. to Pull us out uh, of that. Well, I rescind my what. statement. Like the lighting, I think, is, was just so. <laughs> so, like, when you like zoom in, you can tell the lighting. So that's my thoughts. So it's a real chest. That's <laughs> it's what a matters. Real chest. Okay, got right. it. Would you like? Listen, if this brings Damon Wayne's on Friday's happy hour, I say you just keep going <laughs> shitting on it. It's like a genie. Just whatever we wish for. <laughs> say, just call everyone into question. Well, let me ask everybody who's listening this. Number one, do you enjoy this show? Number two, do you enjoy the fact that we now do five extra hours of it? That's on top of the pre-show, on top of the post-show, on top of the show we're doing now. Five extra hours in your podcast feed. If that's something that you appreciate, if that's something that you like, if that's something that you have enjoyed in this crazy world we're living in, well, do us a favor. And if you have a a few extra bucks, toss it on over to patreon.com slash night attack. You can get your own custom RSS feed. It is the, 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 the easiest and quickest way that you can make sure that we still know that you like this program. Hells yeah, man. And of course, if you are a new subscriber or if you up your pledge, then you have a chance to randomly be called out on a thing we like to call. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the night attack. New Patreon name chant corner hour. It's an hour of uh, look, man. I'm, I, 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 sometimes people up their pledge. Sometimes they up it to an awesome number. Sometimes they up it to an even more awesome number. Somebody went from a 420 to a 69. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Six dollars and ninety cents per episode. Thank you so much to our new best friend of the world, John Pinkerton. John Pinkerton. John Pinkerton. John Pinkerton. Listen, John, if you pick Pinkerton, the Pinkertons are going to be here any John minute. Pinkerton, John Pinkerton, John Pinkerton, John Pinkerton. John Pinkerton. John Pinkerton. Uh, also, Brian, we like to do this show live. 
on the internet. <laughs> Goddamn right we and, do. And <laughs> uh, uh, twitch.tv slash night attack is where we do it. You can join us at uh, 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 9 o'clock every uh, Tuesday Eastern time. But <laughs> It's funny uh, we because also... that used to be an easy thing to remember, but then we started doing it every fucking day. <laughs> it became a little bit harder. Yeah, and also I, I always try to make sure that I'm getting it uh, you know, on East Coast time. Anyway, uh, uh, we like to tell a little story. Whose turn is it this week? Brian? It's Bryce's. Oh, uh, there we go. Hi, everybody. That's me. Uh, the, the, yeah, here's a one minute story of some of the things that I've been up to. So I was, you know, I was out suttering my cane. You know, I was out, I was out in the, I was in the back, backyard and I was suttering my cane. And, uh, you know, I had one of these W Scottises in my, on my belt because I was, I was so hot and just tired. So I was really, really enjoying a W Scottis. And, and I found some dead polymers at the bottom of the bottle of my one W Scottis. I found some dead polymers. I was like, I was like, I see you. I see you, dead polymers. Um, it's usually the best part. Because when, yeah. when, then, they, then they go, oh, 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 and they kind of air and burn up. They air and burn up a little bit in the bottle. Um, which is like so weird. It's so weird when they do it. And then, you know, uh, I was, I, you know, I started doing the Captain Jack move when, when I when I saw the mayor. I was like, oh yeah, Captain Jack, nine one three, Captain Jack, nine one three. <laughs> and John was walking by. He's like, man, you're one Bobcat. You're really a Bobcat doing your Captain Jack. I was like, Captain Jack, Captain Jack. Um, and uh, then <laughs> go on. And, and then, then our, what? And then what happened? And then our friend, the real booty hole, gave us five dollars. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the fucking impeccable comic timing on the real booty hole subscribing at just the right moment. Thank you to oh, everyone. The oh. real booty hole, the real hero, the way I I account for it. Oh my God. Also, uh, I I thought I knew the 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 bit boss, but it seems like the, bit boss. the current bit boss might be Jordan Damas with two thousand five hundred and one bit. So we'll keep an eye on that. It was J Van Allen. Just a minute. Hell's yeah. Hey man, uh, we got a game. Is the, <laughs> besides uh, make Bryce uh, speak for an entire class? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do have a game. We've got a game in from RJ. Aww. This is a game called Florida or Norida. So where's the, where's Norida? No, well, it's, it's in the real booty hole. That's where. <laughs> so RJ has <laughs> aggregated some news stories of weird people doing weird things. Uh, everyone who is playing will have to guess if it is a Florida story or if it's not a Florida story. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I find it adorable that it took that long for Bonnie to figure out the bit. <laughs> I love the fact that I married a woman who didn't instantly know what the whole game was from the title of it. <laughs> I love that she thought that was a fake chest. I love uh, everything about her. Uh, she thinks I'm fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> when the Norda hits your eye, <laughs> like a Florida pizza pie. Aww. Well, That's I, a more right. I was I was thinking because Jordan just bought one of my little piggies. He's a sweetie, so he was supporting my art stuff too, and so. And he lives yeah. in Norda, Georgia. Yeah, mm. that's a fact. That's where he lives. <laughs> Has a fake chest too. So I'm he gonna does. give you yeah. everyone. Aged everyone well. knows it. Very progressive, mm. just like that sketch. Still very progressive. So, so thanks for supporting. There you go. Thank you, uh, Is it Jordan. But now I'm really excited because, like, boy, the weird news comes from Florida. <laughs> I mean, it was out and or out. Or does it? Or does it? Supposes the game Florida or Norida. Mm. Exactly. Exactly. So, and, and you guys, you guys know why the Florida man exists, right? Yes. Uh, 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 because canonically, it is because they have laws that require them to release the police ticker, and that's Sunshine easy laws. pickings for yeah. you know for for news. It's it's like if you're looking for easy crazy news you know look to florida <gasps> because oh, we because the actually state, more crazy because the state mandates that you publish police reports uh and so everybody's got to publish their police reports not every state is like that and so that's why we don't have a michigan man or or, right. uh, or north carolina that's man. why they all begin uh, no, you know, florida man that. eats the face of another dude also right. everybody's fucking crazy and i'm mad but I mean, it like, does, you know, it does like have... there's also that also Florida is an interesting state, but uh, 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 also there are no secrets. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to give you a headline uh, where the U.S. state has been blanked out 
and you will have to tell me if it is Florida or a Norida. Mm. Uh, and uh, we might have some bonus points if you can guess what the Norida uh, actual state is. Ooh, nice. All right. So mm. uh, we'll, we'll start with this one. <laughs> uh, blank man uh, dances naked on Speaking. top of Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Speaking. <laughs> Please don't get ahead of me. Speaking of Damon Wayans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's one. Blank man makes a beer run with a gator in hand. <laughs> Blank man makes a beer run with gator in hand. Brian. Please let that be Florida. <laughs> Florida, Justin. Uh, I mean, it's so I think Florida. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to go Florida. I'm going to go Florida. Bonnie. Florida, I mean, it has Florida. to be Florida, right? The answer we were looking for is... Correct the mundo. Florida man makes beer run with gator hand. Look at him. He's having oh, he's such a fun time. He's got a big gator. It's oh, yeah. not yeah. even like a little. I was thinking it was like a handheld gator. But he's got to like. A, I mean, it's, it's a portable gator. Hand. <laughs> I, I don't know. A Nintendo gator. He's He's got it like situated on his <laughs> waist so that he can like support that 40 pound. Look at him. The gator just wants it's an at least apple pie. 40 just get that gator an apple pie and he'll be fine. That's a big ass gator. Huge. How and it doesn't want to be doing Do you this. think everybody feels right now? That's messed up. That's uncomfortable. Oh, he's chasing people with it. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, he's being a dick. Yeah. Mm. Only From the hero mm. to the villain. So there we go. That <laughs> it's that our game. It's the movie Joker. We got it. <laughs> Thank you for that synopsis. Okay. All right. Uh, we got another one here. We'll start with Justin. This one. Blank man arrested for having sex with inflatable raft for third time in three years. I'm gonna say that that is a Norida. A Norida. All right, Bonnie. Yeah. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna say Norida, and it was in Mississippi on the. Mississippi oh River. shit! Calling her fucking shot. Oh, mm -hmm. she's gonna say, yeah, Justin. Do you? If it's not a Norida, who? Uh, where do you think it was? Read me the uh, headline again. Blank man arrested for having sex with inflatable raft for third time in three years. Michigan. Another Michigan. All right. I think if I can find a map, we will do closest rules. It's too close up there. <laughs> man, I'm gonna call the home of the three strikes law, California. That's why he went to jail. It's the third time you're out. <laughs> There's no dodging that penis in that rubber raft. Noted no, noted pool float advocate Brian Brushwood is uh, drawing Fucking. a line in the sand. Mm. Does, why didn't he just take it indoors where nobody could see him doing his raft? Yeah. Fucking you think you can hide it until Ronan Farrow comes around. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> All right, the uh, this took place in Ohio. Ohio oh, man arrested. Oh for shit! I that's, was closest. That's a bonus point for Justin with his guess of Michigan. Wait, hmm. so Fuck he's yes. raping a raft. He's having sex Whoa. with a raft. He's hold on. He's making sweet love with a raft. <laughs> okay. Where do yes. you think baby rafts come from? <laughs> he he's he's, he's not thing. raping oh. a raft. Oh, he's loving gosh. a raft. <laughs> Oh, goodness. <laughs> That's his Romeo look. Romeo his, his of the love rafts. is a craft. <laughs> the t-shirt the t-shirt on his mugshot reads, I'm out of my mind. Please leave a message. He's grabbing his oh. shaft, making love to that raft. What a craft. Wait, in Ohio, do they have places for rafts in Ohio? Yeah, they're called lakes. So they got Do they have, have places for yeah. rafts in Ohio? <laughs> so, I think the Mississippi River cuts into the Ohio. Yeah. I like that because I was thinking raft. Oh, wait, like no, it, it, made, it had this sense to it, like because there's like books that we've read from. I can't remember the book's name. But you know that Mark Twain famous, book where yeah, he fucked a rat. Yeah, you. He's on a rat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I thought exactly. there was a certain sense of and logic there. But, like, I don't ever hear about Ohio rafts. But, like, meanwhile, I, I, I think you could inflate I, that raft in your garage and have sex with it in privacy, and you wouldn't get arrested for it. Okay, yeah, also, uh, what are uh, the Bryce, details Bryce, on Bryce. this? I, 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 I remember <laughs> that uh, uh, chapter in Huck Finn when good friend Jim no, was saying, no. stop fucking that raft. <laughs> <laughs> Knock it off, Huck. Stop fucking. We're on the raft together. There was Except definitely a moment. Okay, uh, 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 there was definitely splinters. a moment on the shoot <laughs> that involved a hammock. And uh and I said, because we were kind of waiting, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take off these shoes and I'm just gonna lean back like I'm Huck Finn. 
bit of silence. Somebody, not going to say who on staff, says, I'm more of a Tom Sawyer. <laughs> Pretty good at getting other people to do your shit. <laughs> not me. By the way, <laughs> pretty sure it wasn't me. I'm like 80% sure it wasn't me. You're fantastic. No, of so, of a top story. Uh, so he was arrested having uh, been seen having simulated sex with a raft along a public road in Hamilton, Ohio. Simulated? Uh, uh, not even actually No, he's, just, he's making a scene. I People think... are calling the cops because he keeps fucking the raft on the side of the road. And so they call the cops and they're like, hey, man, can you stop? humping the raft because people are calling us and now we're talking. Mm -hmm. And so he did that enough times that he got arrested. Catchphrases, uh, which was, uh, what am I supposed to do? There's no gators in Ohio. <laughs> uh, his mother said he has a lot of mental problems and he's always had a fascination for plastic. <laughs> That's it. Moving I mean, right along. All right, next one. We've been right along. Boom, uh, <laughs> at, at least we know the exact moment it got too real. <laughs> it's when he started trying to wear a rubber. Uh, all right, we will uh, start with Bonnie on this one. Oh, okay. Blank man who went viral for licking ice cream pleads guilty. Blank man who went viral for licking ice cream pleads guilty. Yeah, it's one of. The, it's got to be one of those like putting them back things. You know, lick the ice cream, put it back in the thing. And... No, they arrested him in his home. No, I'm kidding. Wait, oh. Oh, <laughs> like, oh what? Yeah. Um, Blank man who went viral for licking ice cream pleads guilty. I'm going to say elsewhere. In Norda? Norda. Nor Norda. You have a guess on the state? Norda. Yeah, I can't remember the name of... Give us a state. You have a state? You think oh, it might have happened? Um, I saw a chat. I'm going to say Texas. All right, Brian. Uh, you know what? I'll go Oklahoma, and I know it's Norda. This is a Corona variety crime. He went and went like, la, 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 and I'm picking Oklahoma because that's right in the middle of the U.S. Okay, there we go, Oklahoma. Uh, Justin. <laughs> I smell Florida. Mm -hmm. I smell Florida on it. I'm going Florida. All right. Uh, Bonnie says it's Texas. Brian says it's Oklahoma. Wait, wait, wait. Do I get extra points if I can name the county in Florida that it happened? Yeah, goddamn right. Yeah, sure, you go for do. It. Orange County. It happened in Orange County, Florida. Okay, there we go. All right. The answer that we were looking for is Texas man who went viral oh! for licking ice cream pleads guilty. This is the big ba blue bell ice cream uh, thing from January. Oh, in wait, January. Yeah, this was, this was recent. Yeah. yeah, technically after, but or yeah. Or was it? Mm. <laughs> I can't believe We're that still was... waiting for answers, Chairman G. Oh, <laughs> so that's uh, two points for Bo uh, two points for Bonnie, one point for Brian on that one. All right, uh, Brian, we're gonna start with you on this one. Ready? Blank man ends SWAT standoff for slice of pizza. <laughs> Blank man and SWAT standoff for slice of pizza. This is Vegas as hell. I'm gonna say not Florida. I'm gonna say not Florida. All right, Justin. Uh, it's Florida, and it is Pinellas County. Pinellas. Okay. And Bonnie. oh, you figured out that there's no downside to always naming a county. <laughs> you just have three <laughs> points waiting for you. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Uh, well, and we can't do closest. I don't know the counties in Florida, so he's got to get those on on the dot. I Bonnie, am, I'll tell you. I am going to say Florida, and I'm also going to say it was in. Where did all those naughty boys from? Those naughty boys. Those naughty boys. Oh, those naughty is boys. This, those naughty is this, this met on uh, film? Uh, 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 those those uh, naughty ooh, boys those who were running for boys. president, Bush and Gore, <laughs> they were just fighting down in Florida do you, over no. them chads. Do you mean bad boys? The no. action? Nope. She well, means, yeah, she means those naughty boys. <laughs> <But then> Bush <laughs> v. Gore. It in was Pinocchio. A, like they all went to. In Pinocchio. Yeah, in I'm, Pinocchio, they went to. Pleasure the, Island. Pleasure Island. Yes, it was in Pleasure so Island. Pleasure oh. Island side of Bush it was in Gore Orlando? drank some, some ale. Was that? So it was in Orlando, Pleasure Island. The oh, Disney? it was on the shady side of Orlando. The shady but side. But the movie of the Pinocchio Disney. does not take place in Florida. <laughs> yes, no. but Pleasure Island is a real place in, in Florida. Disney World. Yes, yeah. it was in Disney World. <laughs> it was in 
Your imagination. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Brian says it's Norda in Nevada. Justin says it's Florida. Bonnie says it's Florida. The answer we were looking for was... Sorry, God, please be in Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Florida man and SWAT standoff for a slice of pizza. It's where, 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 where? Whether he actually got this is Pensacola, Florida. Oh my God! Shit, right. I think I think not I think, Tampa, J- I think Bonnie was closest. Ah! I I it's got to be exact for Florida because I, oh. I couldn't oh, yeah. possibly. This map has like four yeah. cities on it, uh, but that's gonna right. be a point for Bonnie and Justin. Good gone. All, <laughs> all right, let's go to the next one here. Here we go. Blank man takes revenge on town board with 700 pound statue of middle finger. We are going to start with Justin on this one. Blank man takes revenge on town board with 700 pound statue of middle finger. Uh, oh, um, it's Florida and it's Broward County. Broward County. All right. Yeah. Uh, Bonnie blank man. Mm. Uh, takes revenge on town board with 700 pound statue of a middle finger. I'm going to say New York, man. Mm. God damn it. I'm going to say mm-hmm. uh, Norda and. Norda. I'm going to say Norda, and it is New York, and I'm going to say specifically, this is some Staten Island shit. I guarantee you, this is Staten Island shit. What he was really uh, saying is, you're number one. All right, pause, pause, We've pause. We've got beef with you. You're number one. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to. <laughs> Oh. Damper the fun here. Unless this is a copycat, this is the story of Al Goldstein, founder of Screw Magazine, who put a gigantic middle finger statue on his intercoastal waterways home because it was where all the rich people lived in Fort Lauderdale, and they would drive their yachts by, and they would have to see a gigantic middle finger looking back at them. No, nope, so this unless- is the story we covered on Weird Things that took place on Staten Island about a dude who placed it uh, facing his ex-wife's house next door. Uh, nope, this is the story of a Vermont man. What? God damn it. <laughs> what? No! Who, way. who made and then elevated and then lit a middle finger wow. statue? That lit. is that is a next level situation. Lit. Lit. You're you gonna get lit. lit it up. Right, we're gonna give Bonnie the point, and we're gonna give her the bonus point because Staten Island is on the southern farther side. away. Yeah, yeah. That is actually made out of Love. tree sap. Tree sap that you eat maple syrup. <laughs> Well, <laughs> Were you blanking on the word maple syrup? Yeah. So you said tree sap that you eat? You know, I get there eventually. Yeah, all right, all right, you can yeah, see right. the inner workings yeah. as I talk it out and talk it out. So apparently oh. uh, uh, he could not, bi- you, they do not allow billboards in Vermont, question mm-hmm. mark. Uh, but his mi- the middle finger statue is protected because it is not advertising a business or service. <gasps> And the middle finger is a protected uh, uh, gesture on the First Amendment. Oh, my so. God. And they I mean, also hate that person. That looks gnarly. That is a gnarly looking middle finger. It's but it really glows so gruesome. angelically. <laughs> what is it made out of? Oh, yeah. It's wood. Tree sap. That tree you sap eat. that you eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, tree sap. Nom, nom, sap. nom. All right. The <laughs> score as we go into this uh, sixth round. Uh, Brian has got four points. Justin's got four points. Bonnie killing the game with seven points. Wow. It's almost like I'm a Florida man killing things. Oh, right. oh Jesus <laughs> Christ. Christ. So you picture in Florida is just running for never mind. I, yeah. I mean, the one Florida, Florida representative that we've had <laughs> was chasing people with an alligator. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's the next one. Blank woman. Claims wind blew cocaine into her purse. <laughs> Bonnie, we are going to start with you on this one. Blank woman claims wind blew cocaine into her purse. Oh, man. Oh, is it me? Yeah. To you oh, first. oh, okay. No, I'm going to say that's Florida. I mean, I watched a lot of Don Johnson because it was on the only channel that I used to get. That's where I get my cocaine knowledge. And so my cocaine yeah. knowledge is Florida white suits women acting like it blew into her purse yes yep common defense yeah that whole kilo just blew into her purse uh brian um blank woman claims wind blew cocaine into her purse i'm gonna go with awesome 
awesome <laughs> woman <laughs> did said that. Woman thinks she's awesome because of the cocaine that flew into her purse. Also, <laughs> we have a very for the record, Bonnie. Like I don't care what the repercussions are. If you ever look a cop dead in the eye <laughs> and say that cocaine <laughs> blew into my purse from the wind, I don't know how expensive it'll be. I don't know how long you'll be out of pocket. But I will support you 100%. <laughs> because I will always be able to tell that story of how, like, a boss, you, 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 you better sell it. It's so interesting the currencies we use. So, uh, Florida or Norida, Brian? I, 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 uh, Norida, because uh, the state of awesome is not in Florida. Okay, there we go. Wait, no, but Don Johnson. Mm. He's not in Florida either. Wait, where was he? Uh, uh, he's in the world's worst fan fiction for The Watchmen, according to Justin Robert Young. Uh, <laughs> Wait, yeah, let's a... set up a character and then have the rest of the season very stupidly <laughs> draw from this dumb two-episode thing that we set up. And that oh, character we're, will be we're called so smart. Angry Justin, now in his third season. Justin! <laughs> Blank woman claims wind blew cocaine into her purse. Florida, Miami, Dade, three oh five. Take it to the house. <laughs> uh, uh, if he wins, he's got to win. All right, here we go. The answer we were looking for is Florida woman claims wind blue cocaine into her purse. The Fort uh, Pierce. Fuck. Not Fort, Fort Pierce. Pierce, though. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a little north of Miami Dade, but that we got Florida. Point, but that'll get you the point there. All right, let's do, how many more do we have here? That does sound like kind of a fairy book uh, story in the beginning. Like, uh, you know, some say that cocaine comes in on the wind. You mean the thing <laughs> that like elementary school kids say when they forget their books? Yeah. It fell out of my bag, the wind. Did I... If you just go and lay on the beach and breathe deeply and open your I back wide. To, like my a... eyes. <laughs> All we are is coke in the wind. <laughs> All right, we got another one here. I didn't have a dog eat my homework, but a dog might. <laughs> I had a dog that once ate a receipt that was like an $80 rebate, and I was laughing too hard to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> because I couldn't believe it was happening. And he clearly knew that, that this was something that, that was delightful. And so he just gobbled up the receipt and I we didn't just, get $80. We, we, uh, it was for a hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, we called him the hot cha cha man because he would just go, ah, cha cha cha. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> he just, just gobbled anyway, it up. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> then the wind blew some cocaine into our faces. <laughs> it was crazy. Yep. And we thought it was great. Uh, okay. Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. Ready. Blank bank robber throws cash in air, yelling, Merry Christmas. Blank bank robber throws cash in air, yelling, Merry Christmas. Brian, we're starting with you. Good. Not in Florida. Not in Florida. What state do you think it was? Uh, what's the goodest state? Uh, I have no thoughts on this. Uh, the uh, the best st uh, Utah. Utah. Scott Johnson. That's, that's a Utah bank robber. All right, I'm gonna write Scott Johnson. In it. <laughs> do you they might get a third rob point banks in Utah? Utah? <laughs> I don't. Do know. they have banks in Utah, Bonnie? They do. No, oh no, they rob banks. Oh, do they rob? Do they rob it? Yeah. 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 I mean, they do. do. They but then they throw it up cage. in the air and <laughs> say Merry <laughs> Christmas. You don't practice. Christmas, do they? <laughs> the entire state. The entire state has outlawed Christmas. <laughs> they, a uh, famed state known for wanting no, to take no, no, the no, Christ no. out lay of out, Christmas. Lay out, lay out, <laughs> Let's work through this, Bonnie. <laughs> which states celebrate Christmas and which ones don't? Well, <sighs> We've got a map here. Now which are the godless states? <laughs> Good old Utah. The most <laughs> Jewish of the states. <laughs> no, I thought... I thought the Mormons didn't do like Christmas, Christmas. No, no they no, do. No, 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 no. What, you're, what are they doing instead? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I, my best friend growing up was Mormons. <laughs> That Ooh. does not absolve you that's of anything. That's not, like, that's that's not a, I 
my God, I was using that, that, that as a that, joke. That, that indeed <laughs> makes this situation more perplexing. <laughs> why why uh, is it that the Mormons don't want to celebrate the birth of Christ? No, no, but I, I think there was like something about presents. Like, I think hate did presents. Different. Famously hate presents. <laughs> oh, fuck. But yeah, it's been they a hate long them. time and I live in Texas. And yeah. so. Well, we have that Mormon indoctrination kind of program in the school. Yeah. And stuff. Uh, mm. Oh, people are saying no birthdays, no parties. Uh, that no might be parties. a thing. As a yeah. matter of fact, uh, oh. the, the very yeah. concept of a birthday party is fairly fairly recent and fairly controversial. As a matter of fact, if you yes. listen to the Pessimist Archives, they did an episode on birthdays where they talk about um, there was a lot of articles saying like, uh, hey man, uh, so what? You turned another year older. You expect everybody to throw you a party? I, I think the concept of birthdays and birthday parties is less than 100 years old. So that might be mm. what you're thinking of. Because I think it is. It's a, 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 I think so. a, a thing of humility. It was something, yeah. Uh, but, but they had name day in Game of Thrones, and that was definitely at least 1700. Yeah. Also, they fucked their sisters. <laughs> so I'm just wow. saying. Wow. There it is again. Oh. There Norida. Again. Norida. <laughs> Westeros. Norida. <laughs> Norida. <laughs> All right. Justin, okay. uh, blank bank robber throws cash in air yelling Merry Christmas. Uh, Norda, New York. Norda, New York. <laughs> the famous upstate city. Uh, yeah. And Bonnie. I'm going to say what state was he in? He was high. <laughs> that high, was the state. Okay. Yeah, that high was the state of is, being so high Norda, AF. So Norda, not Florida. Norda, not Florida. Okay, now, what is the highest state? Oh, I, it's got to be. Give a it's got to it's gotta be uh, Colorado or Colorado, or Oregon? Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. Yeah. But or Oregon's pretty high. I, mean, I, oh, I, I thought we were going for a joke. I, I didn't know we were doing a topographical no, map. No, no, I, 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 I would have thought joke. that Oregon or Washington would have been high. Like I meant, I meant higher, higher uh, than than Colorado. Uh, sure. Well, Colorado also has legal weed. And the Rocky Mountains, and has a song famously saying "Rocky Mountain That's High." Good point. <gasps> Colorado. I Where just your... learned something. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't is, know. is it that we're moving to Colorado? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Look for fingers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're looking for yes. a bonus state, Bonnie. What, is, what state do you think this happened? Rocky Mountain High. Okay, Rocky okay. Mountain High. I like that. Co okay, Colorado. I'm gonna say I'm gonna write down Colorado. All right, this took place in Colorado. Give you a third point on that, Bonnie, for getting it exactly right. I so feel close. like that got faked. Like somebody just mocked Utah that up real quick. For very close. My pleasure. <laughs> we ribbed these questions for your pleasure. Oh, uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to everyone listening on that one. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Don't just... worry. Bryce, Bryce, in 30 years, we'll decide whether it was progressive or what. <laughs> Canceled. <laughs> Thank you for caring oh. about my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The scores before we go into our final question here. Uh, uh, Brian has one, two, three, five points. Justin has six points. And Bonnie with her extra third point and going <laughs> retroactively and giving her another extra third point for getting Texas correct. She has got a uh, double digits amount of points. Nine to 12. Is that 12? One, two, three, four, five, six. 12 points. Congrats. God damn. All right. God damn. Uh, of course, yeah. it doesn't really matter. This is our 20 point round. Oh, oh shit. So, anybody's game. Anybody's game. So anybody's game. All right. Question The police say Blank man steals spaghetti from fire station. <laughs> <laughs> Blank man steals spaghetti from fire station. I think uh, Brian will start with you. Blank man steals spaghetti from fire station. <clears throat> uh, I'll say Florida. <laughs> I'm just going to punt. You're going to say Florida. 
Florida. All right, Justin. Blank man steals spaghetti from fire station. Florida. Monroe County. Monroe. I think it's in Key West. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say Coconut Creek. Coconut Creek. Okay. That's in Broward County. There we go. I don't know where those are, but we have That's written it five. down for the record. Bonnie. Norida. And Norida. I'm going to oh. say it was in Indiana. Indiana. Oh. Hoosier man. A Hoosier. Oh, interesting. <laughs> uh, kind of a Hoosier twist. Who's your daddy? <laughs> Do you think they make that joke a lot? Yes, I all think the they time. say it while they oh, fuck yeah. unironically. I, I think, uh, I think they, they hold that until right before they climax, and one or the other tries to get him. Say, exactly. Oh, dude, you, the entire state of Indiana is just a bunch of Larry Bird-looking motherfuckers <laughs> fucking and screaming who's your daddy at each other at top of their lungs. <laughs> the Stoics were on the chat says, no, Bryce just invented that joke. <laughs> <laughs> right. Can you imagine it just ripping through Indiana tomorrow? It's just like... It's like, who's your daddy? <laughs> oh! <laughs> shit! Oh, my God! It was there the Sweetie, whole time! Sweetie, look at this bumper sticker. It says, who's your daddy? Because I'm a... And we have a... Yeah. You know the state? The states wear Hoosiers. Oh, look at this! But it's like it the same. my shirt. Oh, well, who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? All right. You are, Brad. We have a <laughs> we have a winner in this game, as reported by Five on Your Side KSDK. Police say Missouri man stole the spaghetti. That's points for Bonnie. That's thirty-two points. She is our winner. Oh, right. Come on, go. Canceled. It didn't age well. Problematic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to RJ who wrote and sent this game in. If you have a game you'd like us to play in the middle of the show, which is what this was, send it to mail, M A I L at nightattack.tv. It's an email address. Send it, and we'll do it there in the segment of the show, which is what this was, Mike. Hey, man, uh, let's do a little bit of Diamond Time. Diamond Time is, of course, the portion of the show where we shout out all of your projects. Head on over to diamondclub.reddit.com. You'll see a big old fat sticky post right at the top of the page and submit your projects. We'll shout them out just like this. Hey, uh, Amona Rester uh, writes, I'm promoting my friends to call or message me the fuck back. Seriously, it's been a month since this whole lockdown started. I haven't heard jack shit. Please call me back. I know you two listen to this podcast because I introduced you all to it. <laughs> Again, that is Amona Rester who just is dragging her shitty friends for not calling me. Uh, them back what the fuck friends yo i'm gonna jump on here this might the fuck? be everyone's dealing with this right now i sure you're dealing with this I mean, what are you doing there's only so much porn hub this might be the single best use of diamond time i've ever witnessed yeah. this was that line, i know you're listening <laughs> i introduced <laughs> you to this shit <laughs> Yeah. BioCal writes in saying a few weeks back, I encouraged everyone to join the Diamond Club uh, Folding at Home group. And a lot of you did bring in the group into the top 2,000 teams. Not bad considering there are over 250,000 teams. That puts us in the top 1%. Now I'm asking you to uh, update your team to the Good Day Internet stream, a.k.a. Daily Tech News Show. They're about to break into the top 700. And if we all work together, we could really make a difference. Let's do what Diamond Club does best and game this system. Uh, the name is Good Day Internet. Team ID is 261830. Link is stats.foldingathome.org slash team slash 261830. But seriously, man, fucking, uh, uh, will the friends of uh, a mana rester fucking uh, get back to them, please? I mean, all right, here we go. Uh, our next one is from uh, Alias Terrace, who says, I have nothing to promote 
but I'm also going to promote that Amon Arrester's friends call him back. Amon? <laughs> Bloody hell. Maybe if we get everyone to message them, they might reply. <laughs> also, guys, while I have you, what are your morning routines oh. after you? All right, whatever. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm not going to answer <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But oh. I do I do, I do, do want to point out that wasn't the last one. The last one is Kuha and Luke, who said, are you a trivia junkie? You've been missing uh, live pub quizzes every week. Uh, Jose Cuervas and Naeem Siddiqui, a.k.a. Kuhan, write, produce, and perform a brand new live quiz on YouTube that can be played alone or as a team in person or through video chat. Speakeasy Pop Quiz can be found every Thursday at 9.30 Eastern Daylight Time uh, at YouTube.com slash SSJ uh, And for details, you can go to Twitter.com slash Speakeasy Quiz. Do you guys remember when uh, Chat Realm was doing uh, epic rap battles of Chat Realm? Oh my God! I mean, now that you mention it, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, those are good times. Diamondclub.reddit.com. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's where you go. Uh, sticky post, stop at the page. Uh, uh, it's a great time. Go. You know what else is sticky? Is our mail sex? No, we'll have, to, no. we'll have to wait 30 years and judge that one. Norda! Wow. Wow. Join us for drinks in the Diamond Club. <laughs> Diamond Club. That sounds grand. Super grand. This is the part of the show where we read your emails that you send into mail at nightattack.tv. Questions, comments, concerns. We've got an email from Sean. Sean yeah. writes. Well, before we get into that, you, heteros can have gross sex too, okay? Yeah. You yeah. can't take everything from As a us. treat. <laughs> <laughs> We've got an email from Sean. Sean I mean, also, uh, how, how big a vulva, would you call it a fulva? Wow. If it became a sticky sack? Uh, never mind. Go ahead. What? Oh. Oh. What? Ryan. What? I just, I like, I know that you were going for the fulva joke, but you <laughs> ran through it so fast that, like, if anything, it, you were diving on top of the grenade. Like, you <laughs> threw the grenade, and then you dove on top of it, so you didn't do the dot, 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 fulva. <laughs> but that's, be, that's because I knew how dangerous it was. It was only me that knew that it had coronavirus in it, so I died. <laughs> Sean, right! And then jumped it. right on it. I, oh, Christ, sorry. Sean says... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the happy hours. I am catching up on Night Attack 319 with the Mexican Margarita. This is what happens when we do five extra hours. It gets frayed. It gets frayed by the end of the big show. Uh, uh, You get fulva. You get fulva and you'll like it for the record. That's it. That's what you get. You get clean internet. That's why we spent money on this opal, opal so you could get fulva and you could hear me laugh in time with Brian bailing on the fulva joke about two syllables into saying it. Also, for the record, it was a fairly progressive joke. I was trying to talk about sticky sacks that both sexes have. It we'll matter. see in 30 years. <laughs> Wait, in 30 years, Brian? Yeah. Oh, he's gonna be. You, you, you might he have a very in thirty years. 30 <laughs> he years certainly won't remember laughing. it in thirty minutes from now. <laughs> 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 because right. it's gonna be on. I said what <laughs> next week? <laughs> it's gonna be. It's gonna be every fucking. I said what? It's just gonna be one more syllable, and you'll get all of them wrong. <laughs> inception, inception. <laughs> oh. So Sean is catching up with Night Attack three nineteen and listening to some of the. Uh, happy hours, I believe. Oh no, this was this was the pre-show of Night Attack three thirteen. I remember this now. Sean was letting us know that Sean also hosted a Windows seven party and still has some of the bags. We talked about holy shit. Like there's other mail sack promotional <laughs> promotional sack. Oh, Windows seven. Sack. It was my idea. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's actually a cool looking bag. Wait, yeah. what is the idea with the sex? Well, you would. Uh, you, I mean, this appears to be a testicle looking bag filled with pictures of testicles <laughs> <laughs> and the words Windows 7. It's a, yeah. they would know, they'd give you a tote bag and your friends would be like, computers. Uh, so, so yeah, so Microsoft had a shit operating system called Windows Vista that was so widely panned that when they rolled out, their next thing they said okay it's windows 7 but they wanted to be very people friendly 
And so the slogan was, it's, it, uh, that's Windows 7. And it was my idea because they were basically just fixing all the shit that they knew people hated about Windows Vista. Also, uh, and so do, they did that by giving out free tote bags. Do, do you remember the campaign that came before that where they did a whole ad campaign where they're like, we have a brand new version of Windows it's got this, it's got that, it's got the other thing. They're like, oh, wow, let me try it. Play around with it. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, my God, this is the best thing ever. And they're like, and the whole point of the campaign was they would go, ha, it's Vista. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Vista's good and you're wrong. See, Vista was <laughs> fine. It was It was fine. amazing. <laughs> Vista was fine. All right, thank oh you for that, my Sean. God. We've got an email here from Cappy. Cappy's email subject line because this has been, I, I, my feeling is that this has been an undercurrent among Happy Hour for weeks now. The okay. subject line is whether or not we felt like Men on Films was progressive Does or it? didn't age well. Did I hope we took care of that tonight. Sex were sticky or not? What? Uh, the subject line is a homemade Fulva. wings. <laughs> a home, homemade <laughs> what? Homemade wings. wings. Oh. Cappy says homemade wings are totally doable. I make 20 pounds every year for the Super Bowl, but I use a turkey fryer. I soak the wings in buttermilk overnight. I enjoy turning cornflake cereal into the breading, then spin it in a combination of Frank's Red Hot and Melted Butter. Enjoy. Cappy. Homemade wings. Uh, Bryce? Yes. Headline. Blank man leaves podcast <laughs> to go make new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> is it florida or texas i think it might be texas on that one <laughs> i mean I, I think yes you can make great wings if you have a deep fryer right and so it, it, that dude has a turkey sized deep fryer and so cappy is making those good ass wings uh uh but yeah i think our our bigger element is that you need a deep fryer to do it yeah, Swear well, Brian. No, did, did you hear the part where it was it cornflakes he puts on there? Yeah. Uh, cornflake cereal. Yeah, oh my God. And a big old deep ass fryer. All right. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm afraid to look over because I can see below the desk. I don't know what I'm going to see over there. Honey. <laughs> no, no, look, look I, I, I will say that in general, uh, I can fuck with wings you make in the oven. I can fuck with wings you make in the air fryer, blah, 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 blah. The point that Brian and I are making uh -oh. in a world in which bars are either just beginning to open or have yet to open in my case is that there is nothing like getting those wings. Wings made in a deep fryer. They are different. They taste different. And you don't make them at home because you don't have a deep fryer. Now, if you have a deep fryer, great. But it's not to say that it's impossible, just to say that it doesn't happen in our realities. Justin. Uh-oh. He's looking down, too. Oh, no. Ever since we did that, that episode where I had them pluckers wings, like yeah. every third day I've had pluckers. <laughs> It's wow, amazing. that's a lot of wings. <laughs> Do you eat them here? Or are you eating them in restaurants? No, I'm not eating oh, them. Look, I'm eating. making everyone happy. I'm I'm going and picking them up and then bringing them here. Yeah, you know, I me was... and Bonnie, me and Bonnie have the exact same question for very different reasons. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, uh, I was Bonnie's like, please don't bring back the coronavirus into our household, and I'm like, you son of a bitch, if you get to drink beer and eat wings before I do, I will be fucking so jealous. <laughs> I have to sit in that stupid parking spot. I have to call them and say, hi, it's Brian. I'm in slot number eight. Yeah, B R U S H W O. -O. Yeah, okay, all right, I'll wait, <laughs> and, then, and then I get that I and I take them back i thought it was very suspicious when we went when we were doing a shoot and we had pluckers for our meal in the middle and you're like is this too much pluckers and to me no it was like wow this is a very rare and wonderful two, treat two, you know, we had yeah. a, a, a four or so days ago wow wow just pace wow. yourself wow pace yourself <laughs> wow I don't know. All I all I know is that Brian was all complaining, and then I ordered in some frozen wings. You made the mistake of bringing me Domino's wings, and then I realized that that there's only one hero 
that's going to make the world right. <laughs> <But> <laughs> I need to be the change that I wanted to see in my world. But in front, <laughs> I degraded myself in front of Ooh, my children. So I like made sure oh, my God cleavage damn. was showing. She did. Yeah. She did. And I was walking I all sent sweaty a picture. trying to get my tips. And yeah. I yeah. said, Brian, oh, welcome back. Because that's what they all do in front of me. Oh, good to see you again. I'm like, is, it, is that a thing they just say to everyone? No, they say it to the guy that eats wings and drinks a beer <laughs> yeah. every fucking day. Here's how you know. Here's how. Here's how okay. Uh, He's like, uh, I assume. I've never felt more seen. <laughs> <laughs> all right. First of all, yeah, uh, I'm calling bullshit. That's what they say to everyone. You'll know if I'm in trouble when they're all like, so did you hit Diamond 5 or are you on Legend? Mm. That's when you'll know that I'm for reals. <laughs> all mm. I know is when I go get my salad, I don't get that kind of like treatment and i tip better than why don't does. you give that treatment <laughs> you gotta why don't you yeah why don't like, you show a little cleavage yeah, to the be, girls out be there the change yeah, you want to see just give them <laughs> give them a little peek uh, oh my goodness show them that real chest wow your chest is so matte is that real <laughs> Like, I thought it was fake because of how your shirt moved. Like, <laughs> these TV trays are just amazing. Uh, well, right, we've got one last email here from Alex. And Alex writes, Hey guys, since everyone is talking about how they came to Night Attack, I thought Have I would see some... my full <laughs> All right. Sorry. Sorry. Damn it. And about how they came to Night Attack, I thought I'd tell my story as well. Back in 2010, Chris Perillo used to run a 24-hour live stream. Wow. Goddamn. I think I know what the connective tissue here is. Wow. Uh, used to run a 24-hour live stream that I joined in on fairly often. One day, he mentioned he was going to be on this show with a network of the same name. I wonder what that is. So I went over and watched it. From there, I started watching the network more often. Next thing I know, there's a new show being announced called The NSFW Show with two guys who i never heard of. I decided to watch and at first was very confused, but ended up loving everything Brian and Justin were doing. That sent me on to tangents like weird things, scam school, politics, 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 and so much more. I wish I could spend more time ingrained in chat realm because everyone there is awesome. Justin, Brian, Bryce, and Bonnie, I think you're all great as well and sincerely hope you D-I-A-F love Alex in Dallas. Thank you, Alex. That's very sweet. Dude, I Dude. can't think of a more archetypal story that I love more than I started watching. I was confused, but I guess I love it now. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that's all I want from everybody. This is amazing. I mean, that's uh, honestly every, all of my favorite things have been that, which is why I think this show is that, is that, uh, it should never be ashamed of its inside jokes. It is about the inside jokes, but also give it a little bit. You're going to catch on. And as soon as you catch that next wave of the thing that always gets talked about, you're going to be right in. It's always going to be an ever growing, not a cult. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> you know, if uh, we, we don't, we don't pimp this too much, but if you're, if you're not able to make it live, uh, during the the recordings of this, we also have a Discord server, nightattack.tv yeah. Discord, uh, which is popping. You know, not everyone can make it in that is, is active all the time, but uh, we have a, a great community there, nightattack.tv slash Discord. It's free. It's a group chat thing that we use. So uh, if you have an email you would like us to read or respond to, uh, send it in mail, M-A-I-L at nightattack.tv, and we'll read it at the end of the show, which is what this was. Thank you. Hells, yeah. Uh, before we even start playing the music, uh, who's the bit boss? Uh, yeah, our uh, bit boss. Our bit boss with 2,501 bits. It's still Jordan DeMoss. Woo! Yeah. D mouse. All right, Justin, what did we learn today? Uh, Brian, we learned that I give my progressive review on men on film two snaps. Oh, oh that's no. right. We didn't even get to that part. <laughs> I don't know what it's about, but the title alone gets two snaps up. God, why do I still remember that 30 years after the fact? Uh, we learned that uh, even a, 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 a crooked ass antenna brings you a stable streams. How many bit? How many frames did we lose? The current bit uh, frame drop is zero. Yeah! yeah. And we all know crooked ass antennas can bring good things. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we, we, learned, we learned that, uh, that, that, uh, that uh, uh, some chests are too good to be believed. Yep, and some uh, fulvas are too full for this program. 
Uh, we learned that uh, there's more weirdos outside of Florida than in it. Uh, and we learned that uh, I love you guys. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Goddamn right. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So long. Uh, this is our, we learned this is our eighth hour of program. God, we do, we do a lot. We do so much for you. We love you. We love you. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you next Tuesday. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>